Hey, it's Camilla here from Creative Moms Decant. So today I have my newest toy out, the Hat Press from Cricut. And we are going to try to iron on a headband that I grabbed. So let's see if we can get some iron on vinyl on a headband nice and smooth today. We're going to start with Cricut Design Space. Let's go. You're like a circle that floats around me, keeping me. Oh, all right, so I talk about helper shapes all the time, and that's what this green is, is I measured out my headband. Now, the sides of it gape together. I'll show you when I drop you to my other screen. Um, but this gives me a basic idea of where to work in, and I know that these butterflies on the corner are going to wrinkle, and I'm okay with that. So just kind of know that I know that there's going to be some placing things. But what I wanted to show you is you can actually turn and lock some things together to help you kind of keep things lined up. So we know that this is the total length. So I can grab the butterfly bodies by just clicking on those. And then also the words, which are all brown, and I can weld those together. I can also do the same with the wings. However, I'm not going to because I want it to line up nicely on the headband and I want everything to be smooth. And I'm afraid my corners I won't be able to in one swoop. But I'm thinking the brown I probably can. So let's head to make it. Whoops, we have to delete our helper shape. And now we can head to make it. And remember, anytime you're using HTV or iron-on, you need to mirror your mats. So we're going to do that now. I'm going to load these in my Cricut Explorer 3 and meet you on the workbench. With an illusion, like a sparrow with broken wings, but now I shine with your reflection. All right, so the first one I have is orange. So remember, the shiny side goes down for um, iron-on, and it's just a regular, everyday iron-on. So I'm gonna send it on through the machine. All right, so I'm just gonna continue cutting these with my Cricut Explorer 3. You could use any Cricut cutting machine. And I am weeding the um, HTV. And it's this is Cricut HTV, both the glitter and the orange. Um, any, I, I have not found an HTV that I don't like. So iron on, I've been pretty happy with. As far as testing, and I can't say that for sure because I sometimes forget to iron the other side. That's the biggest thing about iron sock, iron on, is remember to do the other side. So I cut away my scraps here and turned on my Cricut hat press, and we are about ready to go here. We're going to get this heated down. So do you have a weeding ring? Let me know. I feel awkward with it, but it really does help, and I'm not sure why I don't use it every time I'm weeding. But I usually just make a pile. But it does help clean up as well. With an illusion Like a sparrow with broken wings But now I shine With your reflection all right, so I'm in the Cricut Heat app, and we want to press the Start New Project. And then basically it's going to tell us what type of material, and so we're going to select that. And we're going to use the glitter iron-on first, so I'm going to choose that. And then it's going to ask the material that you're ironing on. Uh, mine is a cotton poly blend, so that's what I'm going to choose. And then I'm going to choose next at the top in the blue. And then it's send the settings to the hat, hat press. And that's really, it's that simple. So let me show you how to get this lined up on the headband while this is heating up. All right, so we need to get this placed on the mold that came with the Cricut hat press. And you really just want to like line this up with the seams that are on here and make sure that it's really smooth. 
And I, this was one of the big things that talked me into the hat press because this mold I knew was going to be awesome for making uh, headbands, and it is. So I'm a big fan of the mold that comes with the Cricut mug press. So we've got this all lined up, and now it's time to place our vinyl. So we need to preheat. So we're going to preheat real quick. And the app will remind you of these things, which is kind of cool, I think. Just preheat this all over so it's nice and warm. It also hold, um, holds some heat in the uh, mold, which is great. And now we want to place on the yellow. So you're just going to line this up on here. Um, mark your center and line it up kind of where you want it. Um, it. But the hip bands really are easy. If you lined up that seam in the back and you keep your center down the seam in the front, that this hat press are... Uh, makes it super easy. So I'm a big fan of how you can line things up. And then you just want to start tacking it down. And I found the easiest way to do this is to work from one end to the top and then work from the top down, which I know is kind of weird, but you kind of see what I'm doing. I'm taking little sections at a time from the end until I worked to the very center of the top. You could also turn it completely around, but just start back at the top. Don't start on the other end. So then work your, your way completely down. And I had a little bit of where this one wasn't going to be on the headband. So, of course, you want to keep an eye on that. And just roll your headband around and catch it. That's the cool thing about these headbands. They're not going to lay flat on the head. So just getting it on there. And you, if you check out the thumbnail picture in this video, you'll see it looks adorable on my head. So it works out great. I love my new headband. So we just line it up and smooth everything out and seal down this vinyl. All right, super close here. And then we just need to get the orange butterflies on and placed. And I am going to cut those apart and do them separately. And I'll show you one. And then I'll go ahead and grab the other two. I had a piece of hair. It's a never-ending battle around here with cats. So it is best to pull it out cold. I need to quit and just pull it out cold. All right. And I, I've done that before. Cats are just part of life here. So I'm going to get the, uh, make sure that the end of this butterfly um, body is down. And then we're going to add the butterfly to it. So this one's going to be the one that's the most challenging, right? So I'm going to take it on for the video. So what you're going to do is just roll your headband a little bit and work a new area each time you want to place something on them. So I just rolled my headband a little bit. Now I'm going to line my butterfly wings up. Well, maybe. <laughs> And then I'm going to use my easy press to press it down. Just make sure you don't use your um, heat, your hat press to press anything that isn't covered in transfer tape. So keep that in mind, another common mistake. So I'm just going to roll the headband around two more times, and then I'll show you our finished result. So remember with vinyl, we should always be heating the opposite side as well. That's going to definitely help with its longevity. I'm going to say a headband's going to last a while um, unless you wash them a lot. I don't have to. So I'm going to hit this and now let's do the big reveal. I'm so excited. I cannot wait to put this one on. This is so pretty. Isn't that fun? And even in your hair, it's going to look so cute. It's going to be those fun colors. Have a joyful day, friends. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. With an illusion Like a sparrow with broken wings But now I shine With your reflection